Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is verb phrase 156. The verb phrase today is spring for. Okay, let's take a look at the note here. Uh, we have two meanings uh, today to cover, so we'll have examples to cover both of these meanings. Uh, let's look at the note here. Uh, if someone springs for something, he or she pays for something expensive. Or something on an average day he or she would be unwilling to pay for. So we wouldn't normally get this. So they're springing for it. They're paying more than they normally would. That's why they spring for it. Okay, uh, let's look at the second meaning too. If someone springs for something, he or she leaps, so they jump. Uh, or, uh, you know, basically dashes for something. Okay, good. All right, so let's look at the uh, four examples here. Example number one. Um, I wouldn't usually pay so much for a big screen TV, uh, but it was such an incredible uh, sale, I decided to spring for it. So normally, you know, I wouldn't get this, but I couldn't refuse the sale. So I said, ah, sure, why not? Let's do it. Something like that. Or number two here. Uh, since today is your birthday, I'll spring for lunch. Yeah, we often say it like when we're going to treat somebody, just like I said before. So you're springing for lunch, you know, you're going to pay for that person. It's their birthday, so you're going to do something nice for them. Okay, or number three here. Uh, when the earthquake struck, uh, that vase on one of my shelves started to move or shake. So I sprang for the shelf and caught it as it was about to fall to the floor. So you, ha you move quickly to spring for it. And the last example we have here, that cat sprang for a mouse running by and caught it. Okay, so the cat running by, uh, mouse running by and he just jumped, whoop, caught it, got it. So he sprang for it. Anyway, I hope you got it. I hope it's clear. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.